everyone. I'm Donna Bush with your CIG television news brief on this Thursday evening. A signed memorandum of understanding between the Cayman Islands Cadet Corps and Coast Guard presents an opportunity for young Caymanians up to age 18 to be a part of the Sea Cadets. We must continue to support the development of our young people to ensure that we keep them on the straight and narrow path while building capacity for the future. A new vessel, the MV Miss Gwen, is named after the woman responsible for helping many young Caymanian men go to sea in the 1950s and 60s. It is now the newest resource for local sea cadets who are part of the Cadet Corps' maritime detachment. The sea cadets will be trained aboard the vessel, which is valued at $75,000 and is a notable achievement for the organization. During her remarks, the Honorable Sabrina Turner, Minister of Home Affairs, explained that the commissioning of the vessel marks another key milestone in their strategic vision for creating public safety career pathways for local cadets. The intention of creating the subunit was to promote Cayman's strong seafaring heritage through exposing cadets to maritime skills rooted in respect of our marine ecosystem operating marine vessels and adventurous waterman's ship activities. John Bodden, son of Miss Gwendolyn Bush, shared the seafaring history of his family, including the fact that they were boat builders. He also thanked everyone involved. But we are here today because after 100 years, more than 100 years, we have come full circle and someone finally decided to name a boat after a member of our family. So I thank you very much for the great honor and the privilege. We invite you to join us on News Brief Friday when we hear more about what the sea cadets will actually learn while on board the MV Miss Gwen. Meantime, motorists should notice the new markings that indicate the speed limit across Grand Cayman's roads. It's all part of the National Road Safety Strategy. The road markings indicate a change in speed limit on some of Cayman's busiest roads and serves as another reminder to motorists to take note and to abide by the speed limit when commuting. The speed limit roundels are just one of many new strategies being put in place with the aim of reducing speeding and speeding-related fatalities. Now, the overall goal of the NRSS is to make Cayman's roads safer and ultimately reduce road fatalities by 100% by 2038. Now, for more information or to take the road to a zero pledge, just visit gov.ky forward slash road safety. All right, let's have a look now at your forecast for this Thursday. A weak pressure gradient across the Northwest Caribbean will continue to support light to moderate winds and seas uh, across the Cayman Islands area during the next uh, few days. Now tonight, expect partly cloudy skies becoming cloudy at times with a 30% chance of early morning rainfall. For you small craft operators, seas will be moderate with wave heights of three to five feet. The two day outlook is for similar weather conditions through to Sunday morning. A gentle reminder that you can check out the Cayman Islands National Weather Services website and Facebook pages for a look at your local weather conditions. Finally, if you're watching us on our YouTube channel, we ask you to take a moment to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for all of your key and factual government news. I'm Donna Bush, wishing you a safe and of course, a wonderful night. that fences and walls within the high water setback require planning permission no matter the height? You should check with the department as a planning and permit application may be required. Did you know that a trellis structure requires planning permission? You should check with the department as a planning and permit application may be required.